videos up. Hey, Dave. Hey, Josh. Dave, am I supposed to play with aim assist or not uh, supposed no, to? No, play with it, man. Oh, are we still talking about aim assist? Sorry, I was talking about the very talking about the middle. Well, this took a turn quick. Mega Magwitch. Am I supposed to play with aim assist? Destiny 2 on the PC? Uh, if you're a cheater. If you're a cheater, you're supposed to. Yes, I think that's the consensus. <laughs> what? Oh, we're going to have a fight, Mag. <laughs> Oh my god. I gotta gosh. be honest, Josh. I was tweeting while you said hello to me, so I'm like, what is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> we're doing it live. We're doing it live. We're doing oh, it correct. live. Don't worry, we'll edit all this out on the podcast. You won't hear any of this. <laughs> nope, that's what this is for. That's <laughs> edit, what this part is for. Edit so. out entirely, please. Just everything I say. <laughs> and, oh darn. Oh no. Nope. Nope. Hey. Uh mm -hmm. Magwitch. I do me, a, I'm gonna, do, me a, I'm gonna, do me a solid and start this quick, show. Yo, everybody, make some noise! The low cast starts now! Uh, is that acceptable for you? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Welcome to episode 112 of the Loot Cast. I'm your host, N64 Josh. I've got Guardian your Outpost with me and our very your special co -host, guest. Guardian Outpost. Mm hmm. It's co in Are my co-host? Co or he walks it's like it's my like co-host. That's it, Josh. I mean, I got the cot on it, the floor here. I mean, come on. No longer. I know. Jets. Okay, the co, the the co-host. <laughs> I, I just didn't say it. I'm sorry. And we've also got Mega Magwitch. That's Mega me. Magwitch. Now I'm gonna be. Now I'm stumbling over my because, words. Because, yeah. But because, you know, he's he's auditioning for. Next go. I am. I'm here to replace Guardian Outpost. That's I'm here to plan. train my replacement. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to shave my beard into a, a goatee <laughs> and I'm going to start talking a little gruff. It was a good three gonna... episode run. It was. It yes. was. It, it hey, was. It really was. Episode. Okay. Well, so before we get started, guys, a quick word from our sponsors. If you would like to get yourself a Free audiobook from Audible. Go to audibletrial.com slash the lootcast. There you can choose from one of 30,000 plus titles, including Ready Player One, all the Game of Thrones books, maybe some Lord of the Rings. You know, maybe you like Console Wars, which I just listened to. Really good stuff. Check that out at, the, at audibletrial.com slash the lootcast. And uh, Dave is sitting on something that's new. And fancy and nice. Yes. Do, you, do you have a special yes, link you can share with us? Okay, new, go for it. Uh, gaming chair uh, from OP Seat. That's OP Seat. You can find them at Twitter at OP Seat. And you can grab their website from right there and use discount code GO to get yourself an OP Seat. This is a brand new chair. I'm literally sitting on it for the first time right now. It's very comfortable. I used to sit on an office chair. Now I'm sitting on a gaming chair, and the difference is amazing. Um, I, you know, it's it's got it's got great back support. It's got great, you know, lower support. You know, I don't want to say uh, something else, but it's really really good. Um, I definitely you know recommend it. You know, if you if you're a gamer like me that sits around for a long long time. You know, a gaming chair is for you. It's, it's you know, comparative. You know, I've sat in other gaming chairs, and it compares uh, to it. It compares, you know, this chair compares to all the other great uh, gaming chairs that are out there. Uh, but the great thing about OP Seat is that, you know, the price. The price is just right. So follow them on Twitter, at OP Seat. Uh, go to their website and use coupon code GO for $10 off. That's OP Seat. Awesome. Awesome. They're actually, uh, I got, I got a sponsorship also the with them, so I'll be sitting in one of those next cat, week. Baby. Yeah, oh, it will my. be the official chair of the loot cast. So, commercial, pretty... you know, I don't want to continue the commercial, but it really does make a difference. I've, I've sat in gaming chairs before, and and I sat in this old PC, and it compares just like the other ones, man. It really does. Just sitting on this thing for like twenty minutes now, it's already like feels so different, feels great. So, I'm happy that old PC. Um, you know, I needed a new chair. OP seat stepped up. OP seat 
I don't want to say it too fast. OP seat. Um, you know, they're a great, they're, they really stepped up and need a new chair and, and it feels good. You know, I do a lot of gaming, marathon gaming. And if you do a lot of marathon gaming like me, um, you know, get yourself a chair and, and, and I can't wait till Josh gets his and we can officially call it the official chair of the loot cast. So, so is it OP seat? Chair so good they exactly. should be nerfed. Do, I, do I get one just for being on? Do, do I get a free one? You guys sending me one? <laughs> we're gonna throw you, we're gonna give you a throw pillow, gaming okay. throw pillow. I want you guys to like have like a sisterhood of the traveling pants type deal, but with a chair that you just mail to each guest like ahead of time, and they have to mail it to the next person. Just so okay. there's always an OP. We actually have a Guardian so Outpost ready. body pillow. By the time I get to like the third, there's person. a Guardian Outpost body pillow that's coming your way, okay. so don't you worry. You get to snuggle that. So, uh, guys, other than that, I have another podcast, the Nintendo Powercast. You can find that on Google, iTunes, all that stuff. Um, Guardian Outpost streams every morning, 6 a.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday. Go check him out. And uh, our guest, Mega Magwitch, you can find him in a couple different places. Planet Destiny mm-hmm. Podcast and uh, mm-hmm. Husky Raid. Which they just kind of do some dancing some Destiny videos, yeah. right? They're Nothing. amazing videos. Just yeah, and <laughs> amazing. Right, right. So let's. Uh, that's enough. That's enough of the, of the sponsors and all that stuff. We're done the plugs, selling out. The commercials. Yeah, Until we're done week. selling out. Mm-hmm. So, um, I want to say welcome to everybody here in the stream. I see Light Razor, Modern Prophet, Miss Magwitch, Nurse Fern, Shadow Sleeper, AC Couple of Nerds Play. Oh, let's see, a couple of nerds. Sorry, a couple of nerds play. Forgive me, I really messed that one up. Um, and there's there's so many more of you guys. Chair Bear, welcome, guys. Thank you so much for being here. We do this show live. We try to start at six. Uh, p.m. Pacific Standard Time, time, 9 p.m. Eastern. But when I turned on my computer today, all of my hardware interface stopped working and it changed all of my inputs on every piece of software that I need to get everything working. And hey, guess what? We got it going. So here we are. We're a little late. Thank you for being here with us. Let's get into this. Um, Let's just start by getting to know you, Mr. Mega Magwitch, who we mentioned on last week's episode as the guy that wants me to pay yes. half the child support for That's his for. Uh, his new child on the way. Uh, you can just come out real quick. No, <laughs> I do, do not quite have that. It's for. a trap. It is. This is all a trap. It's, it's a trap. <laughs> so our beards touched at Guardian Con. There was a magical moment, and your wife had a scared look in her eye, and I was like, "Sorry, ma'am, and there but you're now pregnant." Now now I have a child and then, coming into boom. this world all because of you. And a little yeah. bit because of me. Yeah, first, first one, one, huh? Ever. Uh, congratulations. Kid, congratulations. All joking aside, owned. congrats. Got me as a dad, unbelievable. It's <laughs> terrible. Terrible luck. <laughs> Worst RNG ever. Hey, if you're... <laughs> If you've got a you got a Marty McFly hat and a ducktail shirt, I mean, the kid's lucky. The kid's lucky. So, but hey, we want to know about you, bud. We want to know um, first off, just kind of about your 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 a, a brief history of gaming, and then we want to talk Destiny, and we're going to talk about your content, and then we're going to just talk about what's going on in the community right now because it's a little bit weird that we're so worked up about aim assist. Ooh, ooh, those words sent a chill down my ooh. spine. Uh, Say it again. Whoa, oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a little I'm bit triggered. about me and my no. gaming history. So, I all right. Yeah, basically, we want to know about Mega Man because I know I know <laughs> some do. things. But all right, well, uh, I've been a gamer for forever, as far as I'm concerned. I grew up. The youngest brother, my older brother, is 11 years older than me, and then my next brother is like six years older than me. So I have always been watching them play video games the crappy little brother with the second player controller but uh i grew up on the regular nintendo everything from regular nintendo up i have played pretty much if it's a console i've owned pretty much if it's a console i used to own just about every console that's ever been made uh, i used to like collect regular nintendo video games super nintendo video games i i'm a big fan of anything 2d i'm a big fan of nintendo much like yourself as you know but Mega Man is my bread and butter that is uh 
I'm, I'm quite adept at Mega Man. I do own every Mega Man game ever made, uh, released in America, and including some that weren't released in America. I'm actually holding. I got the Mega Man: The Wily Wars right here, which was only oh released God. on the Sega Mega Drive in Europe and Japan in limited quantities, and okay. released on. Technically, it was released on the Sega Channel, which you could play it over the internet for uh, the Sega Genesis, but you know, no physical cartridges in America. You should check out. You should check out on YouTube. Um, they did a. They mashed together Terminator 2 with Mega Man sounds. You with Mega Man sounds. It's great. Man, You'll love it. It's a, lot of, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Yeah, just just, just search for yeah Terminator <laughs> Terminator 2 uh, meets Mega Man, and it's just so great. What what drew you to Mega Man? Why Mega Man? Honestly, I think it has the best 2D level design and the best music. Uh, everything is really thoughtfully designed in the games. Is what I've realized as I got older. They always set you up. By, they teach you how to do something in a simple way, and then it comes back around later in a more difficult way. Very similar to Destiny Raids in that way, I think. Um, but it's just the first game I remember playing. Mega Man 3 is the first video game I ever played as a kid. It's the first video game I ever beat. I've Every every time I get a new video game console like that can run emulators or... Anytime I get a new NES, the first thing I do is I test out Mega Man 3 on it. I've beaten it like 100 times easily. I just, I don't know. It's just, it's part of me. It's inside of me. Can't help it. <laughs> yeah, I, I joined one of your streams while you were playing Mega Man. You had your Mega Man mm-hmm. helmet on. And uh, it looked very warm is, and cozy. That is a strain on the neck, let me tell you. That helmet is quite heavy, and it is not comfortable to stream in. I do not recommend it. Two hours later, it looked like he had just taken a shower. He took it off. I remember raiding. I remember raiding him, and he was like, "Yo, Guardian, check it out. I'm wearing my Mega Man helmet." And then he takes it off, and it looked like he had just stepped out of the shower. I'm like, "My man, turn on the air conditioning there. Come on." <laughs> It's dedication. We don't have AC, unfortunately, yeah. where I live. Um, it's a brutal world during the summer. Brutal. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no air conditioning. Oh my goodness. No. We live in like a hundred-year-old apartment building, my wife and I. So there's there's no AC here, but we do have radiators for our heat. So free heat because we get free water. So that's nice. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Well, hey, let's move into uh, let's move into yep. Destiny stuff, man. What got you hooked in that game? And uh, right. just kind of give us the, the give us the lowdown. For me, I first saw a Destiny trailer, and I thought it looked really cool. The first ever teaser trailer, I was like, that looks awesome. And then it came out, and I read a couple reviews, and I was like, all right, it looks terrible. I'm not going to play it. And I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I didn't get it. Because I only had PlayStation, all my friends had Xbox, they all got it, and I was like, well, I got no one to play with, and the reviews weren't great, you know, they were mixed, I'm just not going to bother. And eventually, my friends keep playing it and playing it, and they keep bothering me about it. And then they're like, hey, we want to make some YouTube videos, you know, you should get this game and make them with us. And I'm like, uh, I guess, I'm thinking about getting an Xbox anyway, so I was like, I'm going to buy an Xbox, guys. One of my friends express mailed me a copy of the game, so that I would, because he was like, I'm going to buy a second one anyway, you can just have this. I got it. I put it in. Lukewarm at first, kind of enjoyed it. And then, like every, like Destiny does, it just gets into your skin. And then the next thing you know, even though you, I was lukewarm at first, I'm like, I'm playing this every single day for some reason, for like, for hours on end. And I don't know why I like it, but I like it. And then I just, I started, prob- I started during House of Wolves. And then from then, I've played pretty much nonstop. I mean, there doesn't go. There's not. There's at least not a week that goes by where I don't pop it in and play it for a little bit. So, it's just a game that really hooks you in. I was mostly PVE for a long time, uh, and mostly focused on our video stuff for a long time. And now I've gotten into the PVP a little bit more, being terrible at it, thanks to some of my Planet Destiny podcast co-hosts trying to inform me and guide me. And uh, that's that's my time in Destiny. I was trying to learn to not be a potato. Used to just be me just playing strikes all the time, having fun with that. Now I get to rage and be terrible at the game. So it's it's a really great time. Have you ever played a game similar to Destiny? Oh, 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 yes. I was a, I was a Halo man, all right? Halo man for years and years. Halo 2 came out when I was in, uh, I was in middle school. I moved at the end of fifth grade. I moved, right? And I didn't know anybody. It was literally like the last month of fifth grade that I moved. And I just stayed at my old school to finish it out there. Like I just drove out there. But this new place, I didn't know anyone. I had no friends. But I got Halo 2 and Xbox Live. 
for my birthday during the summer. And that's all I did that entire summer was I just played Halo 2 online nonstop every single day. I was I was uh, what some might consider to be a little bit of a loser back then. I even had an I even had a Halo <laughs> 2 online girlfriend back then. All right. Oh, that's that's how much Halo 2 I played. That was my life. And then I played so much that I quit playing online games. I was like, dude, you got to go outside, man. Like you got to stop. So I quit playing around Halo 3, and then my friends dragged me back in, and now look where it's led. Look where it's led me, talking to you fine gentlemen. So I, uh, I think it all worked out. So you made a huge mistake. Unbelievable. Oh, God. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. I'm, I'm out. I'm out of here, guys. Ugh. Oh, man. I end this call. <laughs> <laughs> so let's dig a little deeper, though, because... You got into the game, it was cool and everything, and then all of a sudden, you've got videos that you're making that are kind of doing pretty well on the old interwebs. Like, give us give us a brief history of that and how all that went a down. A brief history of that is, um, I went to a, okay, so the main reason they wanted me to help make videos is because um, when I went to college, I minored in uh, film, but specifically focused on writing, and I was pretty good at uh, script writing. And they were like, "Hey, we want to make like a machinima series." So they want they really dragged they dragged me in to to hoist them up, you know, into the game. They're like, "We should make a machinima series." I'm like, "Well, I love Red versus Blue. I know they I, used you." Yeah, they used me. I was like, "I'd like to give this a shot." Really, I used them. I mean, that's that's the clear thing. They said they want to do. It. I was like, "Let me in. Get me in on that. All right, I want to help. I want to help." And uh, so we had the idea to make a series where we just. Initially, the idea for Destiny Cops, as it's been told to me, because I was not there for the initial inception of our Machinima series. The initial inception was, hey, we've got these dumb, uh, we've got these officer crest emblems. What if we just ran around and pretended to be cops in a video? And then we quickly realized that we're not good enough to do that. Like, you know, the the fun police gimmick is good for fun police because he's good at the game. We're not good at the game. So we're like, what if we did like a scripted thing? And then from there, we made one one episode with no real solid plans on the rest of the season and it got just enough traction through reddit and random youtube luck that we decided to make another one and then planet destiny featured that in like their weekly best of video like content and that drew like we were we were like we were thrilled when we got like four thousand views on the first episode when we first like released it and then all of a sudden the second one gets like fifteen thousand views and we're like whoa what's going on so we keep making them from there and the the channel keeps growing and then uh initially i think the actually i guess the first video ever done was the first saw something dance video which is really it ties into a uh, our roots as friends the group because we um not a lot of people know about us but three of the four members of uh of husky raid the youtube group are actually we're actually viral for a dance video outside of destiny in the real world uh, it was a powder. It was our powder puff dance video from high school. So there's a video out there of multiple videos of me out there dancing in a skirt to pop music that has over like three million views on it. So yeah, we were like, we, it got to we first. I don't know. It blew up. It was on like CNN at one point for like a viral video thing. I don't know why. And we performed. <laughs> we ended up performing at a WNBA halftime show at one point, like right out of college. We performed at a Washington Mystics game, right out of right out of high school. And we just are oddly good at making dance videos. And then there's all these fun things you can do in Destiny. So I think the idea just originated because we like to make dance videos. And it was just like a dumb thing to try out once. And the first one went super viral. And we started, we were like, let's make more videos. So we started doing Machinima series. And then we're like, you know what? Let's make another dance video. That'll be fun. That one goes even bigger than the previous ones. And then every now and then we're just like, all right, enough time has passed that we've forgotten how horrible it is to make a dance video. Let's try to make another one. And we just try to make them as elaborate and stupid as possible each time. And it's a lot of fun, but it's also a lot of a lot more work than some people might think goes into them. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so there might be a link somewhere that could go in my show notes of you mm-hmm. dancing around. In oh a yeah, if skirt. you want, it, I can. I'll send you the link of me, oh. me in a skirt dancing seductively Excellent. to Santa Baby in front nice. of my entire high school to much applause. So 
I'll give it to you. And that was, there were a few more LBs on the body back then, so it's even more entertaining, all right? You mean there was a few more sexy pounds on there? Exactly, yes. More sexiness to go around. Sexy pounds. I'd like to think that's how I won my wife over. Oh, for from sure, that man. dance. Yeah, absolutely. She was all about the curves, man. It was a mating call for me. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. Let me... Did she see the CNN and she's like, I must have this man. That's what... <laughs> yes. I need him. Let me, let, me, let me ask you this, man. You make, you make a lot of, you guys make a lot of great videos. There's one of you guys dancing in all parts of Destiny. Um, you know, mm-hmm. the Vault of Glass area, you know, out in patrols, in PvP areas. And you guys are like, it's on, it's like on point. You know, I've tried so hard. To try to like, there's that one friend dance, the refer a friend dance. Yes. That you get where you both are spinning and you hold hands in the middle. You uh-huh. go, I've never been able to, to get that one to to hit perfectly. Man, how like I know you guys probably are all connected. You know, I don't know how you're all talking to each other, party chat or whatever. I mean, how long does it take to get all six of you just perfectly going? on point perfectly? It never feels like we actually are, but the secret, the secret always is. To um, you need a you need at least a third party for anything that involves two people being coordinated on screen. Like you can't get the duo dance perfectly in sync because of the input lag of the mic. But if you have a third person count you down and then you both go on go, even if it doesn't look in sync on your screen, it'll look in sync on their screen. So it's all about the cameraman uh, and and how he handles it. So what we do when we're doing dance videos is cameraman. We all work together on choreographing it and blocking it. Uh, the cameraman is one of the members named Boisterous Biddy. He um, he just has his speakers cranking the volume of the music, and he'll record in the mix. He'll add on top of the music for one of the mix versions, him going like, one, two, three, four, five, and like, go. Like, he'll sync up what time we have to do things in the music now the, the, our more elaborate ones are like that now it used to just be just the music and you can barely hear it and it's like terrible we've gotten a little better at it in in our later stages of how to you make guys it. it's it's amazing because yeah. you guys you guys do everything it's not just dancing you guys mm-hmm. also throw you throw the grenades you shoot the guns you pop your supers you it, it's crazy you had one where you where you're down in crota the beginning of in the beginning of crota Mm-hmm. And you even use some of the thralls, some of the thrall, which are like completely, you know, uh, <laughs> unpredictable. It's the fucking, excuse me, it's the it's hard to say it. talking about this book. talking about this before Steven Swear happened. Jar. Swear jar. Swear jar. It's going right in there. Jar, oh, jar please, Dave. Jar. Around. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just amazing. I'm amazed. You guys had, you, you guys had so many uh, different ones and. And it's it's funny because you can't even get like when you're playing with people on, on on you know on stream you can't get coordinating anything, and these guys are throwing the grenades at perfect time. You're using the hard light to bounce bullets yes. off the floor. It's just hard light is the greatest gun that Bungie has ever released. If I could pull one gun into Destiny two, it'd be hard light because that thing is is a light show miracle. When you need to when you need a cool effect in a video, hard light does the trick. Uh, oh. I will I want to say the. Uh, the hardest one that we made is the Plaguelands dance video, the Christmas one, because for that, we we had to get nine people into the same patrol area, which meant in order to do that, basically, we loaded into patrol and we just had to wait there until a person would show up and spam them with messages being like, hey, 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 can you invite us? And then let them invite <laughs> one person, make them the party leader and then leave their own fire team so that that person could invite more. And then if anybody like, lagged out if like a whole party like that which happened to us we'd have to start from scratch it took us it took us over over nine hours like total just to get the patrol part of that video and like we got on and it was like two hours after we got on before we could actually even start practicing because of the fact that it took so long to get people and then we go to the moon where we had a full fire team of 12 people which you can't get that many people into an Xbox party. So that's the only reason I ever downloaded Discord, I think, was because it was the only way we could get that many people able to speak at once. And it gets pretty noisy in the party at that point. I think it was something like a total of like 20 hours of of actual filming time for the Christmas dance video of ours. It was Whoa. brutal, brutal times. <laughs> 
but you know they we wanted to go that's... as big as possible and it was kind of worth it <laughs> and that's what it takes to to make good content yeah. you know to make good content you got to you got to sacrifice your time man you got to sacrifice your time I'm sure those 20 hours were worth it as soon as you posted it you know 100,000 yes. views you guys have over yes. 100,000 subscribers it's it's what I always what I always tell people is it's not skill it's just time you got to just be willing to throw hours at it and not give up when things aren't working basically you just got to be like all right we're going to do it again do it again do it again do it again like no matter how many takes it takes you'll get it eventually if you just try enough times <sighs> good stuff <laughs> i love it man i love it and now and now you're now you're doing some streaming you were streaming on that channel and now you're streaming yes, on your own I, channel right i i decided just to see what streaming was about what it was like you know I, try, I tried streaming on YouTube before, and that's not really very indicative of how fun streaming can be, um, because YouTube YouTube can be a little less focused and polite than uh, Twitch. <laughs> Let's say that. Let's just say YouTube can get a little rowdy at times. At times. But uh, yeah, I, I randomly... I had uh, I had I recently quit my uh, office job because I didn't like it very much at all, and I was tired of sitting in my office all the time. So I was focusing on making videos more than anything. And I was one day I was like, you know, why don't I try streaming? Just see what it's like. Give it like two months of just I'm just gonna, no matter what, I'm getting on every day. I'm gonna stream at this time. See if I can build any sort of audience. And we're slowly but steadily growing, and I'm I'm pretty happy with it. I love streaming, honestly. It's like. I don't know. It's the most fun type of content creating. It's the most immediately rewarding, you know? Mm. Video making is can be really frustrating until you actually post it. And then if you do post it and there's not a great response, that sucks. Streaming is like is is a good time pretty much every time. Yeah, no doubt there. No doubt there. I want to take a quick little break here and say happy birthday to Alka Celsertini. She is turning 29 again, and so um, happy birthday. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so give us the quick URLs where everybody can find you, and you'll give them to us again later, but just uh, Go to youtube.com slash husky raid. Go to twitch.tv slash megamagwitch. Go to Twitter slash megamagwitch if you want to hear what I say when I'm on the toilet, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> those are the... <laughs> Those are the spots to go, all right? I, I don't promise a Perfect. good time, but I do promise a time, all right? A time will be had. Hey, yeah. there you go, man. There you go. So let's talk about this uh, Destiny 2 PC Woo! beta came yes. out today. Let's talk about and it. And one of the first things I read, somebody said, we don't need to aim assist shame people. And I was like, "Oh no!" Before before we get there, this is like, okay, yeah, T back, back us up, Dave, because I like look, I tr guys, I tried getting my PC going, and my motherboard was dead. So, wah wah wah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna back to the drawing board on that. But you got time. So got time. no no beta for me, but. Break Let's, it down, I mean, Dave. Let me just say, I'm not. I've never been a PC gamer. You know, this is pretty much my one of my first forays, and I mean, I played I played Fortnite on PC uh, a couple weeks ago as a test. I played, and I did a I did a I did a charity stream last week where I played um, Phantom Trigger. But Destiny was definitely the game that that I was gonna really go into my foray into into into, into uh, PC gaming and the game looks beautiful oh my god it is gorgeous it is like this is the way destiny is supposed to be played it's really good you know i get it i get it now the 60 frames a second argument i get it it's it's just amazing but still you know it, i'm gonna go back and play it on console I'm good you know I know, you know. At first, I'm be like, "Well, this doesn't look as, this doesn't look as good as PC." But after 15 minutes of me having fun, I'm just gonna forget about it because you know it's Destiny. Yeah. But the game is so smooth. It's so polished. You know, um, I've seen people running it at at 144 frames a second. I mean, we had guys like Lyric and Doctor Disrespect talking about like this is a real AAA 
first person shooter game for P- on PC. A real this is and and that's amazing because those those guys play like Overwatch, and, you know, and other and other games like that, and they're talking about how this is a this feels like a real FPS for cons or for PC, and I'm like, this is crazy. The game, I mean, the minute I turned it on and started mm-hmm. playing it, I, you know, I don't know what to expect. You know, I don't know if my PC can handle it. My PC handled it perfectly, which I was very happy. The game is buttery smooth. It looks great. Um, I really hope, Josh, you can get yourself a PC and play it. Um, those of you that can't play it on PC, uh, it's okay. You know, the game still looks really, really good. Um, the game st- still looks really, really good on PS4 and Xbox One. It looks very, very smooth there as well. But I was just blown away. I'm like, wow, this just looks different. And um, the game, it, it, it was great. It was it was buttery, buttery smooth. Um, it was a lot of fun to play it. The PvP, it was it it was really good. It was really really good. It it got me more excited um, to play because a lot of people have been asking me, "You gonna play it on PC?" I'm like, "Yes, I'm gonna play it on PC." But the but Mac, the back of my mind the whole time I was like, you know, back of my mind, like, if my PC can handle it, I'll play it on PC. But now <laughs> I know my PC can handle it, and I'm, and I'm all 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 systems go, no hesitation. It's it, it, it's really 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 good. Um, you know, mm-hmm. we'll get into more. We'll get into this deeper more. Keyboard, mouse, controller—they all work perfectly great. Controller works really good. Um, you know, it's just a re- it, just, it just felt really good uh, to to play the, to, to play the game. You know, you know, I'm not gonna tell you people go out there and and get a PC. I mean, if you ever could get a PC, you know, you know, Destiny is a, is is, a, is gonna be a great game, but. But it, it really blew me away. Um, Gosh, are you like me? Have you been waiting for this since the D2 reveal? I remember playing it on PC there, and I was like, wow, this is, like, amazing. <laughs> and I've just been waiting for everybody to get to be able to play it so I can see everybody just be like, yeah, PC might be the way to go on this after all. Like, I've just known this wave was coming for so long. Yeah. And I mean, listen, the, the, the majority of the players are still going to be on console, so mm-hmm. it's, it's not going to die on console. It's not going to die on console. I'm a majority of players are still going to play on console. Um, you know, it's still going to be, you know, PS4 still has the exclusive stuff. So, you know, you know, everyone, I mean, listen, 100% of the Destiny player base was, was console games because it wasn't on PC. Now it's on PC, and slowly people will, will, will listen, um, Overwatch still has a big console community. So, you know, we have nothing to worry about there. But, yeah, I mean, if you could swing it, if you can swing it, and a lot of people can afford a thousand dollar rig or fifteen hundred dollar rig to play to play video games on it, um, you know, if a big if you can swing it, um, you could you you know I would I would recommend you know going P, going PC and uh, and play and playing the game. But I, I was just amazed. All right, the game's great. It's really really yes. really good. I think across the board, I don't think I've seen one person complain about the game. Yes. Well, well, now we'll get into what people are really complaining about. Yeah, so break it. Because, again, I'm at a loss here. I'm like, are are people mad that some people are using aim assist? Which, uh, you know, like, if they're using a controller, don't they kind of need it? Isn't that what keeps the keeps the the playing field a little Mag, more even? About it? I can let Mag, like Mag explain if he knows anything about it. I... I know the most minimal amount about it. I know that a lot of people are saying aim is too high on controller and that much like Overwatch had an issue, I guess, when it launched initially too, where there was aim assist on controller, but then using the Zim setup with a mouse and keyboard, you could set yourself up to be basically playing mouse and keyboard with the aim assist as well. And that can be considered an unfair advantage. I don't really, I don't really get, I guess, I don't get why it's, a huge deal personally because i don't play mouse and keyboard shooters like ever so i don't have a lot of experience with it you know either way i'm used to aim assist i've always heard mouse and keyboards way better than a controller with aim assist so i guess i just don't know enough about it personally to to say why it'd be a bad thing to have aim assist other than that the way i see people talking about it is that it it lowers the competitive gap maybe more than it should i found a tweet here i was i was referencing this tweet on my stream may 22nd 2017 mark noseworthy uh if you don't know who mark noseworthy is he's the destiny 2 project lead at bungie 
Um, he tweeted out, somebody asked him a question, any chance you can provide insight into controller usage for PC, uh, i.e. can AA, the aim assist, be toggled on if you prefer a controller? Mark Noseworthy quote tweeted that guy and answered him, Destiny 2 plays great with a controller on PC. If you want it to feel just like the console, you can. So right there to me, to, to, when I read that tweet, to me it tells me like, oh cool, I could I could put it in my controller. Like there is no setting. I didn't go into the settings and put aim assist. It, people found out that when you automatically put in the controller, you're automatically given aim assist. When you don't have mouse and keyboard, you're not given aim assist. And yes, when you use an XIM, which is just like a, it's just like a, it's a like a quarter of a keyboard and a mouse. You plug that in. It also gives you so. It also gives you uh, the, the the aim assist. Now, same thing happened with Overwatch. A lot of people, Overwatch beta had aim assist for those that plugged in controllers, and no aim assist for people that used uh, M and K. How it's being said right now on Twitter, mouse and keyboard. Um, a lot of people, you know, complained. They they they, they didn't like it, and um, and they took it away. They took away the aim assist for for PC. Uh, Overwatch now. Now, if you do use a controller on PC Overwatch, you're really, really uh, at, at a dis- as, at a disadvantage. Yeah. So, <laughs> a lot be. of people are going are going are going into that. But Overwatch is a completely different game. It's only a PvP game. It's only PvP. Destiny is a PVE game with PVE ele- with a PV- PV- PvP elements. Um, so, uh, you know, there there was there was talk. Um, and I don't want to. I don't want to like sound like I'm like I'm subtweeting the guy. Doctor Lupo was very adamant. Yeah. Was talking about this a lot, and I, and, and I love Doctor Lupo, and I'm not going to trash him. I'm not going to trash him at all. What he had to say, you know, he had a lot of valid points. He's a very smart, very very smart individual, and uh, he made a, a, a lot of a lot of great points. Um, you know, uh, but t- t- to me though, um, you know, it may you know I've always been a, I've always been a console guy, and mouse and keyboard intimidates me a lot. It does. Um, you know, being able to plug in my controller and compete in PvP, uh, well, it, it you know has been great. So, you know, that's just been the whole thing, man. You know, it's, been, it's kind of been going back and forth uh, between people, people that really, because there's there's a whole contingent of people out there that prior to the beta coming out was like, mouse and keyboard, try mouse and keyboard. You're gonna love mouse and keyboard. There was like a campaign to hey, mm-hmm. really try mouse and keyboard because you know, Destiny is Destiny is. Uh, a console game was a console was a console game so you know there was a big you know i saw a lot of streamers a lot of people that play pc were like yeah mouse and keyboard mouse and keyboard is the way to go and then now a lot of people are playing with their contro- controller and seeing that it's they're they are they are getting an advantage um kind of an advantage because because if you're really good a guy like a guy like dr lupo is gonna is gonna destroy me every time yes doesn't matter if i have aim assist buffed He's gonna destroy me every single time because the guy is so talented that you know the guy's so talented he could shoot a pinhole he could shoot a bullet through a pinhole on a virtual pinhole man he could do it man he's really you know he's that great um, to me though what you know my my thoughts on it is you know destiny and I feel like Bungie and I don't know if you have a th- any thoughts on this mag you know I see you see you kind of mm-hmm. like you any, I don't know if you have any thoughts on what I've been saying. Um, I think I have I have one thing that I, I want to talk about. I've seen a lot of people who are tweeting about the issue, talking about how how good they did on mouse and keyboard playing when they don't normally play mouse and keyboard, and how they did way even they did way better. It was like it was too easy with a controller. I've seen people tweeting things like that, and I I want to know how much of that is due to the fact that they're playing against matchmaking that's easier too. I feel like it's the kind of thing I'd like to let the game get some legs more. Let every because you could be playing against people who've literally never played Destiny. If you're just rocking quick play with lower skill based matchmaking, you don't even have skill based matchmaking to base off of right now. I think it, I you think it's just, con- isn't it connection based? The yeah. Well, the, they uh, said there's there's still SBM, but there's like less in quick play or yeah. something like that. So you're going into quick play. You're running with a group of four people that you've played destiny one with for three years that are all amazing at the game too. I would assume that you have a pretty good chance at just steamrolling any opponents in quick play, no matter what device you're on. And it's going to be easier for you using what you're more comfortable with, which is a controller, which is what you're used to. So I'd like to let the game get some legs before we immediately start 
shouting about how there's too much aim assist or how it makes things too easy for you. Because like you said, somebody like Dr. Lupo, who's good at mouse and keyboard, once once more players enter the fray that get both good at Destiny and get good with mouse and keyboard, you're not going to... You'll be able to like probably do all right at like a medium tier with aim assist, I would think, but you're not going to rise to the upper echelon of players compared to guys like Lupo using mouse and keyboard. Yeah, and, and I get what Lupo is saying, man, because Lupo is really passionate about the competitive scene. You know, he was in He's the, part of the first pro team ever. Yeah, yeah, he, he, yeah. He was out there. He was out there at Guardian Con, rocking it out there. In the in the PVP tournament, so he's think his mind is on the competitive scene, man. You know, he's always thinking about it, man. Uh, I really want this to be competitive. But if you're gonna have a, a Destiny PVP tournament, it's gonna it's, it's either all gonna be controller or all gonna be mouse and keyboard. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You're not gonna go in there and be like, well, choose your weapon. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go controller. I'm gonna go mouse and keyboard, because a really good player with a controller with aim assist could probably match up. We do match up with Dr. Lupo, but again, I think Dr. Lupo is the best in the world. I think he can beat anybody. So mm -hmm. I, I, I know where his mind's at. I know where his mind's at. His mind's on competitive, and and he's thinking about that. That's his, that's his, uh, that's you know where he, you know where where he lives, and that's and that's great, and that's why he's killing it. That's why he's one of the most popular streamers right now, and he's got thousands of viewers every single every single day. Um, my mind goes the other way, you know, Destiny One. Again, Conco game. Destiny 2, now coming to, now coming to PC. Uh, Bungie and Activision, they want people to jump over. They want people to make the switch. They want guys like me um, that have always been playing console their whole lives to try, you know, PC. So I don't think they're going to get rid of the aim assist. You know, it is a beta as well. We can, let's throw that in there. It is a beta yes. as well. So we don't know what's going to happen come October 24th when the PC version is uh, released. Uh, it could be wrong, could be right. I know it's around somewhere around October 24th. I think you're right. Yeah, uh, the PC. That's when the PC ver uh, version, version, wow, uh, version is gonna. <laughs> so is the gonna PC be... virgins like me come <laughs> PC, out and give PC the game a shot. Yeah. yeah, the PC version <laughs> is gonna come out on on October on October 24th. So they want people to to make the jump, and they want people that have been longtime console players to feel comfortable with the game. And feel like the game is the exact same game they were just playing on their PS4. They were just playing uh, on their on their on their Xbox One. And it wouldn't surprise me if somewhere in that Bungie contract uh, with Blizzard and Activision uh, a certain incentive, if they get an X amount of people to buy the game on PC. So and then not only buy the game on PC, but have certain amount of like registered users by a certain amount of time. So. So that's probably what they um, <laughs> Nintendo they made the switch. Uh, <laughs> I just saw that joke. Um, I was gonna you know, grab I, mine. And just exactly. Hold that they, <laughs> um, they, uh, you know, that, that that's that's what I think, man. I think Bungie just wants, um, they want people to to make the switch, you know. And yeah. and we've complained about this a lot, man. How Bungie caters to casuals. Bungie caters to casuals. This is too easy. This is too easy, man. This is too easy. But we here on Twitch, you guys listening on the podcast, those of you that watch Husky Raid, that watch N64 Josh, that watch me, man, we're the 1% of gamers, man. You know what I mean? There's like, yeah. there's, a, there, there's a guy out there who, who has just one console and plays Destiny. He's only played Destiny for 300 hours, and and uh, he's happy that D, that D2 is coming out. So uh, I get where I get where Lupo is coming from, man. But, um, you know, I really I really do get it. But. But uh, you got to think about you got to kind of think outside of your own world. About I, get, I, get, I definitely get to. I think what it comes down to is if in terms of actual competitive tournaments, I don't it wouldn't impact it. Like you no. said, either it's going to be all controller. It's going to be all mouse and keyboard. Like there's not. And even if it wasn't like the best players are going to be the best players on either device. You, know, you, yeah. you hand it to them. I think the only way that it would affect the game is in the, the scenario of like competitive game mode like how overwatch has quick play and competitive it could make the game feel less competitive and then maybe hurt views for streamers that that you know like they want that audience that's there for competitive gameplay so to speak that's like the only realm of competitiveness that i could imagine it hurting but that that only i don't know i, I can't see that affecting destiny too badly because destiny never was a competitive game in a lot of ways, people always say Destiny's not competitive. 
Um, and it did pretty well on uh, Twitch for the most part, it seemed, for a lot of people. So I, I, I feel like the community can handle the game not being the most... Not we'll having the most care. competitive game mode? I yeah. don't know. We'll see come trials time, once trials returns. We'll yeah. see once the game drops, you know... You know, might they nerf the aim assist? Might they nerf the aim assist a little bit? Might yeah. they remove it for competitive and leave it on quick play? You know, that kind of stuff. Make it an option in private matches, mm-hmm. uh, and then Charles of Osiris, of course, not even not even have it, not even have it at all. Um, so you know, it's still early in the process. But I listen. I get it, man. My boy Swoli mm-hmm. Bible is also talking about it, and he's a competitive player. Um, you know, my dude Sirkaze was talking about it. He's a big mouse and keyboard guy, and I understand. What, I understand what he's saying. My uh, Angry Iceberg, who I talk to a lot, uh, you know, off stream, and he was he's been playing D two a lot. Uh, he hasn't streamed it yet, but he's been playing on a D two PC off stream, and he, you know, he, he you know, these guys are concerned because they're, you know, Angry Iceberg does shoutcasting, PvP shoutcasting, you yes. know, and I'm sure he's going to want to do D two tournament shoutcasting, you know, Scully Bible. Is a trials uh, is a trials guy who helps people run trials and, and Lupo's Lupo Lupo's you know he's the best uh, he's 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 up there you know he's top five top three whatever you want to say um, when it comes to PVP players in, in Destiny his mind is on is on is on competitive and I get it um, you know but uh, so listen and this is the time to voice concerns though the beta you yes know, this, this is the time to voice concerns I think it's and, just important to voice them in a non yeah. Let's just hope this is, this is yeah. civil, man. I've seen yes. some, I've seen some, you know, some wars starting on uh, on Twitter, man. I'm like, listen, we're we're all just Destiny players. It's just, you know, we're just voicing. <laughs> Doesn't mean we 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 voice these concerns because we love the game. You know, Lupo's yes. not Lupo's voicing these concerns because he loves it, not because he hates the game. You know, he, and he wants to see uh, everybody do well, but. But, and even uh, in even in Lupo's tweets, he said uh, in like a follow up tweet, he he talked about how if the game is not going to be focused on being competitive, then aim assist in there is fine. If it's just going to be like a casual game like Destiny One was, then it's then it's not a big deal. He basically said in one of his tweets. So I think it, it really just depends on what Bungie's goals are. If they're trying to push the game as competitive, then then they need to think about it more than if they're trying to make it more in line with D1. Mm-hmm. It, I mean, it really is kind oh, of a Josh debacle, Josh right? Because oh, the, <laughs> yeah, no. So guys, those of you that are listening and you can kind of hear the audio has just kind of crapped out for some reason. I was literally on my phone trying to like, see if somebody was like, if every one of the people in the house was streaming something at the same time, because I'm like, what is happening to my bandwidth? This has never happened yeah, we were, before. We were, so we were. Um, so uh, uh, Mag and I were, were vamping for Josh while he was trying to fix these uh, technical yes. issues. <laughs> yeah, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. So I apologize that it's uh, it's gonna be a little garbled, but it's just there's uh, it's out this of my is, hands at this, this point. Is so outrageous. But I mean, uh, so, I had a very specific deal when coming onto this podcast that my voice only be captured. Josh, at Josh is gonna quality. sue us now, man. He's yeah. gonna sue us now. <laughs> You're in breach of contract, Josh. How dare you? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> right, continue. Oh my gosh! What what is that? Uh, what is it that bands put out? That's like I need the I want only oh, blue M and M's and you know the re- there's re- a re- there's re- a, re- a re- name re- of the, it like orange, uh, green M and M's please. <laughs> yeah. So, but I mean, so if if I'm and because I was kind of distracted trying to get the quality up, um, if I'm hearing correctly, the people that are playing mouse and keyboard are crying. That there's aim assist for the people that have controller. Is that correct? I wouldn't say crying. Not Lupo's crying. not crying. Some no. are, but but Lupo's not crying. Uh, but yes, there there is there is a loud people are people okay are concerned loud that, that, of people. It's, that it's there's too easy to pick up and play aim assist on controller. I think is, is what it seems like. It's like it's easy. It's way easier than mouse and keyboard. Is yeah, is, like is like, like I was I mentioned my boy Bruce Willy Bible again. I was talking to him because I was making fun of him because I was like, one me, one me, bro. I'll play you in controller. You play with your mouse and keyboard. And um, and we were, we were talking about it. And he's like, dude, I picked up, you know, Sully's a great player. He does raid care. He does uh, trials carries for D1. Well, used to do trials carries for D1. Um, he, he's a great player. He's like, yeah, I was, I was <laughs> mouse and keyboard. I was doing great about a 3.1 efficiency. Then I picked up, he's like, then I picked up my controller and I there was no way anybody was killing me. I was just 
like I was going, I was grabbing all the medals. I didn't die. My efficiency was no, no, no lower than a six. And, and I'm like, I'm like, well, you know, man, it's, they want to make people feel like that. They're want to sell. They want to sell games. They want to sell games. You know what I mean? So how do they sell games? It's, it's the, it's the candy crush. Uh, it's the candy crush, uh, uh, candy crushization of gaming. Candy Crush, when you when you play the first 15 levels, you are amazing at it. You're getting like, ah, oh, look at all these triples and quads, and I'm getting all these amazing, you know, combinations. Oh my! That, that, and then you're you're hooked on the game because you feel like you're amazing at it. And then you start getting into like level 30, and you're like, I lost all my lives. I must keep playing. You know what I mean? So, it's 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 kind of how it is. I I I, I kind of hate to say it. Maybe you know. I hope I don't get too much hate over that. But that's kind of how. It's it's becoming man, you know they're they're, um, they they want to make us they want to make the casual player the people the, the people that uh, are on the fence about the game you know feel great like oh man that's why they got rid of KDs everybody gets a you got to kill now if you just touch a guy you know what I mean like if the three of us were playing in a, in a PVP match and I hit, I just I melee a guy and he's still alive and then Josh you get the you get the final bullet it's like we both got the kill kind of like Overwatch so they got rid of. They got rid of KDs. It's all efficiency ratings, ratings now. So, you know, it's all about making people feel good and want to buy the game. But again, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, if Loop ever hears this, I don't want him to think. Want, want him to hate me. But um, I know where his head's at. He's he's on the he's on. The, if I were a competitive player, um, like he was, I'd be I'd be on I'd be on the same boat. You know what I mean? I'd be I'd be on the same boat. Like, yo, you know. What is this? I want everybody to put, be on the same playing field. Okay, I got what you're saying. So the 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 thing is to be on that same playing field. It sounds like they just need to bring the aim assist down on a controller. Because if they take it away, then we're still not on the no, same playing field. The, correct. I mean, if you play mouse and keyboard, if you try to play controller on Overwatch right now on PC, you're gonna get crushed. No, you're not gonna even get a chance. Yeah. Crushed. <laughs> Because you're gonna get crushed because a lot of people will, um, the mouse and keyboard people will just will just destroy you, um, but you know it, it will just destroy you. So yeah, you know, he, he, you know, he, maybe he just wants people to play mouse and keyboard. You know, he's an he's an advocate for mouse and keyboard. Maybe he just wants people to really try it out. I know Giggle Monster was out to, out there tweeting, telling people try mouse and keyboard. Don't be a, don't be a, don't be intimidated by it. Do it, do it. Um, so you know, there's a lot of people out there advocating for. For, for mouse and keyboard, but yeah, I think you know if you want to just do it, if you want to just do it, leave it on the ca- leave it on the casual play, and yeah, Trials of Osiris, take it off, mm-hmm. take it off, take it off for Trials of Osiris, so people can uh, um, be kind of on the same playing field. But then you know, I mean, it, it's I don't know. I think it, in the long confusing. run on on PC, it's just all the best players are just going to be mouse and keyboard in the long run anyway. I, I really feel like yeah, the matter. aim assist is only going to get you to maybe the top middle. Uh, yeah. On controller. I'm a middle of the road. I'm a middle of the road PC. I'm a middle of the road PvP player. Middle mm-hmm. of the road. Uh, a guy with great skill on mouse and keyboard is gonna get me. He's, mm-hmm. he's gonna get me. He's, he's gonna get me. Doesn't matter how great. Doesn't matter how great I, I get. Uh, how much of aim assist I have. You know, a good a good PC player. A good PC player with a good mouse and keyboard is going to crush me. I think the problem that people are having are the XIM. Which is like, uh, which is like, uh, it, it it reads as a controller. The, yeah, it, it like spoofs a, it spoofs a PlayStation controller essentially, but like, you control that controller with a mouse and keyboard. It's like you're mapping the controller to a mouse and keyboard. Exactly. But, but even that, I, I mean, it leaves you. It's not exactly the same as using mouse and keyboard because when you use a controller, you get don't you get more recoil on PC still than you do with mouse and keyboard. So like that's another you're, thing. You're adding other things there's, in. Yeah. There's barely any recoil uh, when you plug a controller in and play D2 uh, PvP. <laughs> barely any recoil. You're like really? you're shooting lasers. <laughs> mm. That maybe they that I would that I would say mm. they got they got a they got a nerf and put a little more recoil. Because I haven't, I haven't gotten a chance to play with a controller in the PC version, so I just want to know how different it is than playing console with a controller. Because if it's the same, then my gun's spraying all over the place anyway. I need that aim assist to help me. But if it is less recoil in the PC version with the same amount of aim assist, then that would be that would be a little intense. A little yeah, that's where th- there is where I'll, I'll 
I'll give it to them. Yeah, there's barely any recoil. I I real I noticed it this morning. I'm like, man, I'm, I'm killing people. I'm, I was I felt great. <laughs> My efficiency rating was over five the whole morning. It was amazing. <laughs> the uh, I don't know if you guys played Halo Four, but that game was just full of. Aim assist. I mean that that game was all aim assist all the time. That explains my KD and... in Halo Four. <laughs> yeah, well, that's I mean, go from Halo Four to Halo Five. Like, play those two games back to back, and it's like night and day how much easier a headshot is in Halo Four than it is in Halo Five. Like Halo Five, they took a lot of it out, and it's a very it's a very rewarding. Like you, it's a it's you're, it's very satisfying to get kills in Halo Five, right? But Halo Four, it's like Man, you can almost it's you can almost let go of the controller, and it's like uh, it's like the the drive assist on the new Mario Kart. Like your guy just kind of, your gun just kind of follows, you know, without you even t- turning it. So, um, I mean, I can see where it can be a problem if, if it's too high. It's just weird to me the like <sighs> it's it's it it starts to wear on me getting on Twitter and, and watching like people losing their mind over something that seems so trivial. Like, and if it hadn't been this, what else would it have been? You know, there's always something it, on the yeah. internet. Always. I mean, it, it, exactly. During, during the beta on console. I don't remember ma- ma- many people complaining. I think the only thing people complained about was not enough, not enough anymore. Give me more stuff to do. And, and, Oh, this one, yeah, this is this has been the major uh, qualm, for people, uh, for the for this beta. Other than that, other than that, other than that portion of Twitter, it's been amazing. I've been I've been, you know, watching these Leviathan streamers, you know, because you know uh, to see what their thoughts are on the game. And uh, Doctor Disrespect, you know, that's his, you know, his, his spiel is is ripping on every single game. And man, he was not ripping on Destiny. He even said like. This feels like a triple A FPS PC game, and then he used the word "finally," and lyric the same, and lyric the same way, and other the, the other you know big time Leviathan streamers are all, are all loving the game. So, um, mm. that's great, great for Destiny. Destiny man. I, mean, I mean, that's it, good. It, it. It was awesome to see Destiny uh, top of the directory uh, on Monday. It was amazing. I don't know where it was. I don't know where it was today. I, I can probably let me see where it's at. Uh, right now, but it was great no to see. No longer Destiny will too. we be what? mocked and marginalized. We we are the new alpha dogs. Go Destiny! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think there was twenty three thousand viewers when we started this show because we're in the Destiny two uh, directory oh, right now. It's number eight. There's twenty two thousand viewers. Yeah, it's number eight on the directory. For a beta, that's viewers. not bad. For a beta, uh, that's yeah. for a beta, that's not bad. Because yeah, a lot of people have already. A lot of these uh, big dogs have already moved on from the game because you know they'll give it they'll give it one day and then they'll move on to, to something yeah. else. But this game, yeah, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great next week. I mean, that's it. Uh, next week at this time, uh, we're all gonna be talking about. No, we're not really because it's, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Dang it! I, I keep thinking. Tuesday, I know. But yeah, it comes out Wednesday. So. Oh, it so is, weird. It is strange. Even though they, even though they say that 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 um. That reset day is still going to be Tuesday. So I'm like, ah. it seems weird. Let me get on and do my Destiny 1 yeah. nightfalls, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all do our Destiny our last, our last, uh, yeah, exactly, our last nightfalls, man. My goodness. But the game is great, man. I am leaving my vault so, such a mess. I'm sold I'll, on I'll PC. Just... I, I am. It's so good. I don't have a PC, but I'm still sold on it. I'm still going to make it happen somehow. <laughs> yes, yeah, same. <laughs> oh. Same for sure. So, uh, guys, we're at that hour mark. So, Mega Magwitch, this was awesome, man. Thank you, thank, thank you for you hanging man. out with us. Um, give us all the give us all the places. places. Well, you can. Yeah, you the can people find can find me you. at youtubecom raid and twitchtv magwitch every weekday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Once you get done watching Geo Stream, just hop on over to this one. All right, that's all you got to do. And then, uh, find me on the Planet Destiny podcast every Sunday at 
10.30 Eastern, but maybe 10 again now that Game of Thrones is over. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hit me up on Twitter at Mega Magwitch and all that as well. Do whatever. Just do whatever you want. I don't care. I don't even care. I'm playing hard to get. I don't even care. Show up or not. Whatever. <laughs> He cares very, very much. Please go watch this man. I don't really care. I need your attention. <laughs> he crumbles if nobody's watching. I got, I got a baby. I got a baby. I got to feed. And yes, in however help many him months. feed his child. Yeah. <laughs> right. No guilt. No pressure. But there's a baby's, you know, full <laughs> tummy on the line. Guys, do you want the baby to be plump and happy, or do you want it to be skinny and sad? That's uh, that's up to you. All right. Here's my credit card. <laughs> Jesus, oh. this guy. That was a good <laughs> Oh my goodness! Um, my co-host. You said it. You said it. Where can uh, we find Guardian you? Guardian Outpost uh, Twitter. Guardian Outpost on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Guardian Outpost. Six a.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. Probably gonna do one more day of Destiny Two PC beta. It's just so much fun. I, I, so I was literally resisting the urge to just flip it on right now and play it while we were doing the podcast, but I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to like to hold back, so probably one more day. Probably one more day. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on uh, on uh, I'm gonna play one more day of Destiny 2. I'm very very excited. So yes, Twitch.tv slash Guardian Outpost. Go out. Go come every morning, 6 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, Destiny 2 tomorrow. And uh, yeah, you don't want to get. I want to get back into Borderlands before I say goodbye to it forever. Um, and uh, that is it. That's where you find me. All right, guys, you're gonna find me on uh, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube. LinkedIn? It's N64 Josh everywhere. You're LinkedIn? gonna find. What's that? What was the last one there? Yeah. LinkedIn. I don't. I yeah. I haven't uh, quite got that one. Uh, com? That's a different name still. Yeah, we got the farmers only going for sure. Yeah, yeah. Lower lowered expectations. I'm on the like the top of the list there. Um, uh, remember, guys, audibletrial.com slash the lootcast. Get yourself a free audiobook. Help support this show. Remember to go to OP seat and use coupon code G O. What is it, Dave? G O. There you go. So if you're if 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 you're looking for a seat, he loves the seat. He recommends them. That's opseat.com. There will be a link in the show notes if you want more information there. This and uh, so good. This little pillow's been on my back the whole the whole stream. It's so good. A little pillow on my back. I, if I could swap places with that pillow, oh. if only. Oh. All right. <laughs> You'd be so sweaty right <laughs> okay. now. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, um, if you guys have a sec and you want. To leave us a review, that would be great. We really appreciate it. Guys, the Nintendo show has made it into the top 200 in games and hobbies on iTunes. we got to get the loot cast there. And that uh, that falls on you guys. Leaving the reviews, maybe sharing this with some friends. We would really, really appreciate that. And, um, yeah, that's it. So, Magwitch, thank you for being here, dude. It was dude. a pleasure. An honor. It possibly, it's going on my list of greatest moments of my life. It's it's this podcast, Destiny Two coming out, finding out I was going to be a father. That that's the order. Wow! <laughs> wow! Okay. Well, I uh, hugging me was going to be. I guess so. I'm upset oh, by man. that. <laughs> I just, that's most arousing moments. Right? Oh, okay. oh goodness. Oh. Okay. So. Um, uh, to my co-hosts, n- no thank you for being here. And uh... <laughs> you're supposed to be here. It's like that Chris. It's like that Chris. Rock. Yeah, it's you're like su- that old Chris Rock joke. Yeah. I take care of my kid. You're supposed to take care of your kids. I stay out of jail. You're supposed to stay out of jail. I co-host the Lucas. You're supposed to co-host the Lucas. Out of boy. Out of boy. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening. We will see you next week. Oh. All the show notes, thelootcave.com slash episode 112. See you guys later. Bye. All right. The recording is done. We're still on Twitch. Oh, I, won't, I won't talk let's about people. Let's go raid some. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, go, let's go. No, no, don't, <laughs> don't start. start crap about don't people. start. <laughs> Yet. Yeah. Riku, I saw you in here, buddy. How, how's it going, bud? Welcome. Everybody else, welcome. Thanks for hanging out, guys, for so long. We appreciate You're it. Good people. Um, so, so what happens is my computer's audio it splits, 
and half of it goes to my ears and the other half goes to the stream. So I think what has happened is the stream could hear everybody perfectly, but I was getting the gar- oh. a garbled mess. So, yeah, so that's good. Because every time I'd be like, guys, I'm so sorry, the stream is like, it sounds fine. I'm like, I it does not sound fine. So I'm curious how the recording is going to sound. That's, that's just what be, you and I sound okay. like, yeah, all right? Why don't you just back off on how ugly our voices are? It's fine. <laughs> Gosh. No, 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 it's not. It's not. It's not. You're not. It's, oh, you're not ugly. Oh, that's the, that's the nicest thing anyone's neither, ever said. Neither to me. are your voices. <laughs> <laughs> are, you looking for, are you looking for somebody to raid? Yeah, yeah, you got somebody go in mind? Raid, uh, let's go raid Swoley Bible, and let's tell him nice aim assist, bro. Oh, I like it. I love Swoley. Tell him and nice I love... <laughs> aim assist, bro. There he goes. He'll, he'll... Okay. You got his link he'll in there? Tell, yeah, he'll, he'll love that. He'll be like, what? What? So, yeah, go, go raid Swoley Bible. I was just talking about him. He's playing D2 right now. Uh, he's really good at PvP. Really nice guy. And uh, go go raid him, man. Tell him, oh, tell him, nice, nice, nice aim assist, bro. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here with us. We really appreciate it. We'll see you next week. See you. <laughs> Great.